Linda from American Patchwork and Quilting, and I'm here with Marie and Vicki from Handy Quilter, and we're going to talk about marking your quilt tops. Because I'm always impressed with the fact that you all, experienced as you are, still take time to mark your quilt tops. You don't just wing it. I think because we're more experienced, we do more of marking. And that's, you've got a lot of tools and tips and techniques to show us, so let's get started. Now this piece, tell me how we started with that piece. This piece was just a, a design that we started out with, with the Pro Stitcher, okay. stitched it out. The difference is what you can do with that design, okay? okay. So here's wow. the same design, and you add micro quilting to it. So micro quilting is just small. Anything that you quilt large, you can quilt small. So here's a little stipple down here. Here's some little pebbles, and that makes the design pop. So the Give rest of the, the design, what isn't micro quilted, really pops up. Right. And shows. Right. So it really makes your quilting look good. Now you'd mark the mini quilting or the micro quilting as well, or would you not? No. no. Okay. No. Oh. Do that close so enough. So that's free yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. <laughs> so we started in one of our classes here at Handy Quilter, we started a class because they, our, our quilters said, we want more. Teach us more feathers, teach us more ruler work, teach us more of everything. So we thought, well, let's let's do a sampler and okay. so that you can learn more feathers and, and using rulers and that. So we did it on black and we gave them a really bright thread. We thought that was just great. Perfect, <laughs> yeah. But we had tears over that. Oh no, didn't we? they did. Because the bright thread really popped on that black fabric, which was kind of fun if you were a really good quilter. But if you're uh, not yeah, a good quilter, yeah. then it your just, mistakes showed a lot more. They did. Or your and then your retraces. Yes. And then we taught them micro quilting. And can you see micro quilting in this? Well, I can because I'm up close. But all this back area is micro quilted, and I'm sure from a distance yeah, you're not okay. seeing any of that. And it doesn't make this pop at all, other than the thread color. It really doesn't. So we thought, well, that really didn't work, did it? <laughs> <laughs> so scratch that class. We tried again. And look at the difference. We a nice soft color of fabric, you know, mm -hmm. and nice soft thread colors so that it didn't scream, I made a mistake. Right. Oh, that makes such a difference. So some of the same, the still same rules. So we had that center that they used a template. Okay, so like it's a little ruler work. To have a template center. Work. They yep. had to have a border. And with that on the border, we actually gave them a stencil that all it does is do a spine for them, okay. and then they learned how to fill that spine. with feathers. And then their background stippling and made those feathers really pop. So they got to experiment a lot more with just using that stencil as a base. Yes. And then we gave them each a single stencil okay. that they had to implement somewhere in their quilt. All right. Okay. So with this quilt, it was placed right there. Okay. So repeated around, made a nice motif. Yeah. And the border, as so we move down here, the border repeated across there using some ruler work to kind of define it and some micro quilting. And then they, they got a lot of experience then. Yes. Oh, a lot of experience. Oh boy. No more tears. No, <laughs> no more, more tears. tears. That's the best part. So options, thread color makes a difference. And this is also another way that you can get your design on your quilt. So this is golden threads paper that you trace the design and then you can stitch this in your sewing machine your without okay. thread. Then the back side you have those bumps on it and you can place those on your quilt and then use uh, either a, a pass chalk. chalk. Yep, there's a blue pounce chalk or there's an iron off which was we, white. Okay. Yeah, it's white. Mm -hmm. Or they could use different marking tools. So they might use a marking tool with rulers they to could. do some of the dividing lines or to use the plastic stencils. Mm -hmm. They okay. really could. Or there's another fun tip is to just take netting and you can see how fine that netting is. Okay. And then draw your design on the netting and then place it where you want it to go and use using one of the marking tools you can just follow the lines around there and it kind of makes a dotted line around that with the netting. And I know that all of you have a favorite marking tool and it's all a different marking tool. You all have different <laughs> favorites. So do you suggest that people experiment with some different Absolutely, marking tools? Absolutely, because there are tools, there are marking pens that you can 
do you know use for darker fabrics like the white and that's an iron off pin okay then there's a wash off marker so if you're going to get your quilt wet you can use that one okay and this one lasts a lot longer this one goes away, so this is the air soluble, and, and this, you're gonna need to be ready to quilt. And right? this is an air soluble one as well. But the thing about this one, will you take the cap off of that one, and this one? So different. Hard, there's different <laughs> tip sizes. The tip sizes, and this one we found, kind of grabs the fabric sometimes, and and is harder to use. Okay. So depending on the fabric you're using. You know, yeah. you know, you may. Sometimes well, I want a fine line, and sometimes it. And it's I just not need that. It's not that heavy of a yep. line. Well, and some people are heavy-handed, more heavy-handed when they draw, and some are more of a sketch light yes. draw. So it, I'm sure there's a favorite for everybody. Yes. I and it depends on the fabric and the project. Thank you so much for these great tips. Now that I know how to mark my quilt, I know my next quilting project's going to go so much better.